Welcome back to my channel, guys. Back by popular demand, it is my $5 flea market grab bag of cards. Uh, a few weeks ago, well, maybe about a month ago, I posted a video of grabbed some $5 grab bags at the flea market that I sometimes stop in at. And uh, a lot of people were saying how good they were and how I should probably buy them all up. I wasn't able to buy them all up today, but I did go back there, grab some penny sleeves, grabbed a few... Um, uh, little packs of cards, which I will maybe open in another video, and then I picked up two of these grab bags. I grabbed one from the very, very, very back of the display, and I grabbed one from the very, very front of the display. I uh, thought maybe the ones at the back might be um, some different cards and than the ones at the front. Didn't want to try to get all about the same type of card. So this is the bag that was way at the back of the display. Don't know how long it's been there. There were probably, geez, I don't know, 20 of these grab bags. So I just grabbed two today. I wanted to get in and out pretty quickly, and uh, then I was on my way. So I'm going to go ahead and rip these open. I've had some pretty good success with these in the past, um, whether they've been a lot of Hall of Fame cards, uh, a few Junk Wax cards, but really I've had some pretty good luck. One time I had a whole bunch of Larry Walker cards in there, uh, or one of our newest Hall of Famers. So I'm going to go ahead and open this thing up, cut the tape in the back, and I don't know about you guys, like someone posted in one of my videos a long time ago. I think it might have been my man Shannon from Back to the Cardboard. Anytime you get a bunch of cards in a paper sack, you know you've had a good day. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of move the bag off to the side here. These are all, this isn't even all of them. This is maybe half of them. These are all sleeved up. Or So these are probably cards that just didn't sell in the, or he didn't post, at, uh, didn't post in his actual uh, display for whatever reason. And so it looks like we got some old Bowman Chrome. This is, I don't even know what year, 2004 Bowman Chrome. So we'll see if we get, get any guys we recognize here. I'll uh, try to keep the glare out of here. I know with the, with the light right there, it's going to be tough to tell. We got a Jesse Gutierrez, Stephen Bailey. Haven't recognized any of those guys yet. So those all appear to be Commons, we'll keep them off camera. Got a Jorge Posada from Leather and Lumber, 2004, which he had listed for 10 cents. Here's another Bowman, Miguel Almanzar. This is from 2009 Bowman. Patrick Ryan, Seth McClung, Ricky Card, Matt Butler, Phil Wilson. None of these guys have really made much of an impact. We're going to put them off to the side. We got a Scott Rowland, 2001 Donners. Some people are still... Uh, have hopes for Roland to make the Hall of Fame. Um, the, the ballot's been so clogged up. There's a Ryan Madsen rookie card. I believe he's still hanging around. Won a World Series with the Phillies. Won a World Series with Kansas City. Um, almost won a World Series with the Dodgers. I, I don't know, but I think he might still be on the Dodgers. I could be wrong. we got a Tom Glavin. There's a Hall of Famer. Two, Donner Studio, 2001. Uh, there's an Andrew Jones. Not a Hall of Famer. 2002. Adam Pyatt. Here we got a Zach Britton. This looks like, oh, what is this, 2010? Yeah, no, 2012. Sorry about that. 2012. This might be his second year card. I believe 2011 is his uh, rookie card. There's Josh Hamilton, former MVP. Kind of on some, ran into some tough times here lately. We've got a Maglio Ordonez. There's another Scott Rowan. There's Hall of Famer Robbie Alomar. This is, and uh, then an Ed Rogers. This is Bowman Chrome from 2002. So we're doing all right. We'll make a little stack of kind of good guys here, Hall of Fame, or at least good players. All right. Second pack of this group. This is 2008 Bowman. This is a Bowman paper. Ronaldo Navarro. Don't think he did anything. Ryan Zink. Kyle Lotzgar. Nicholas Barnes. Uh, Austin Gallagher. Haven't found a guy. No, there. Ta Taylor Holiday. Brant Rustich. None of those guys really made an impact. We got a 2015. Donner's car to Gregory, Gregory Polanco. we got an Dribble Cabrera. He's still hanging on. Won a World Series last fall with the Washington Nationals. Nathan Vineyard, first Bowman Chrome. Nick Hundley. Um, that's the rookie card of Nick Hundley, who was all right there for a while. He's a solid major league catcher. Oh, boy. Devinson Romero. Don't know a lot about him. Justin Green. Didn't ever make it. Brian Shaw. Uh, he's still hanging around. I think he's in Colorado. At least the last time I knew he was in Colorado. Pitched in the World Series there with uh, Cleveland when they made the World Series against the Cubs in 2016. There's Christian Vasquez. He had a really nice year last year uh, for Boston. First Bowman Chrome paper. Justin Bristow. We got a Jay Austin. 
Greg Reynolds, Gary Matthews, Java Chamberlain, Ryan Zimmerman, that's not a bad one for 10 cents. Uh, Jeremy Beckham, Ryan Perry, Robbie Grossman. Robbie Grossman's still hanging around, outfielder. And uh, Eric Campbell, Fernando Martinez, and Anthony Bass. He pitched in the major leagues there for a while. So we've got a lot of Bowman so far in the top half. Not a lot of star power or Hall of Fame power. Here's a Topps Heritage, looks like from 20, 2008. We got Mike Lowell, we got Kevin Euclid, we got a young Dustin Pedroia. Look how young he looks there. I feel kind of bad for Pedroia. His career is pretty much over, it seems now. There he is again. Um, just had so many knee troubles and, well, kind of got into that kind of flare up with Manny Machado back before people really were hating on Machado for being a quote unquote dirty player. Uh, there's Luis Gonzalez, Melky Cambrera, who's been bouncing around, JJ Putts. Richie Sexton, Kevin Kuzminov, these are some names I recognized here. Brian Fuentes, left-handed reliever. Rich Harden was very good out of the uh, rotation there for the A's for a while. John DeVries and a Khalil Green. Khalil Green was such a slick fielding shortstop back in the day. You got a little bit of a die cut there on that one. Gold medallion, 2004 Fleer. Not really worth that much anymore, so we'll see if we can heat it up a little bit. I still got a couple handfuls. This looks like a lot more Bowman. I can just kind of see here at the front. See if we can get some more recognizable names. There's Bowman Chrome of Johan Santana, who was the best pitcher in the major leagues there for what, a span of three or four years? At least I thought he was. Um, some other guys here that didn't quite make it. First year, Chad Bentz. This is a 2004 Bowman Chrome. Hector Jimenez, Jason Bay from Canada. He had a nice career. There's Todd Self. Don't know a lot about him. Charlie Zink, Brant Colomarine. Tadoro Incarnacion, and now we're going to go here to uh, Donris. This is in Spanish. See, Donris Estrellas. It says Phil Nevin. Um, that's pretty cool. A Spanish version here. My Spanish is not really up to par, so I'm not going to even try to uh, try to translate that for you guys. So here we have a Spanish. I can tell that says first base of Richie Sexton. A Spanish Sean Burroughs. Um, we got a Delman Young. Khalil Green, there he is again, two of him. Got a Chipper Jones, Cover Glory. This is an insert, or I don't know if it's an insert, but a subset. No, that's just even number 42. Chipper Jones in the Hall of Fame. We'll put him right here with his buddy Andrew Jones. Jose Canseco. Here's some of our star power. Got a Pudge Rodriguez. I, man, Fleer Ultra looks so nice. Look at that photography. Texas Rangers. Uh, Jason Jennings didn't quite... Live up to too many expectations. Of course, pitching in Colorado has something to do with it. There's another Spanish version of Jason Giambi. Got an Alfonso Soriano. Man, he had so many good seasons with the Yankees and the Rangers. Kind of gets overlooked sometimes. Carlos Peña is now on MLB Network. We got one of these throwback cards, Bowman Heritage. Um, man, is that Cliff Lee? Kind of looks like Cliff Lee. Yes, it is. We got Fred McGriff. <laughs> Tom Mansky's defensive drills. Fred McGriff. Christian Guzman. Jose Vidra, who was very good there with Flatty in Montreal. Hank Blaylock, who I used to really like. Hank Blaylock, one of my favorite stories about him was, um, I don't remember where I read it, but back whenever, you know, batter's walk-up music was becoming a big thing, people asked him what they wanted for his walk-up music, and he's like, dude, I'm here to play baseball. I don't care about walk-up music. So I don't even think he had walk-up music when he played for Texas. He's like, I'm here to play baseball. I'm not here to have walk-up music. And so this looks like a draft edition, Hot Prospects, 2004. So I always liked Hank Playlock because of that. He's like, hey, I'm just here to play baseball. I'm not here for all this walk-up music stuff. Uh, here's some more Bowman Chrome. This looks like 2003. Some guys that never really made much of an impact. Although Victor Martinez was a good player. Um, Ozzy Chavez. Here's a refractor, almost looks like, of Eric Gagne. Eric Gagne. I saw him. I don't know if he, how many of you guys watch Trevor Bauer's channel. Uh, so he's kind of a polarizing guy, so I bet there's some people out there who don't like Trevor Bauer, but he's had these guys go out, and they, they're just hitting in the desert, and they're throwing basically live at-bats to each other out in the desert, and somehow they got Eric Gagne to go out there at however old he is now. He was born in uh, uh, 1976, so you've got a, uh, what, a 44-year-old Eric Gagne out there throwing fastballs and change-ups to these young kids out in the desert in the middle of Arizona. And it was pretty funny if you really uh, want to find it. I bet you could find it on there. Search for Eric Gagne and Trevor Bauer's channel. 
Here's a Bowman's Best. That's actually pretty cool. Cal Ripken Jr. I never really collected a lot of these Bowman Best cards back in the day. Cal Ripken Jr. This is from 1999. Just looks like a base card. But that's got a nice little shine to it. We're going to take Pedroia down and put that one up right there. That one's really nice. Whoops. It's going to slide down. Ah, that's okay. Got a Barry Bond Silver Slugger. I've never really seen that like that on the side. Silver Slugger. It says SS5 on the back. That's interesting. First Barry Bonds. We'll put him back up there where I wanted that other card to go. Hesop Choi, Ryan Klesko, Dimitri Young, Trevor Hoffman in the Hall of Fame. Carl Crawford. Kind of speaking of running into rough times, he's had whew, kind of some bad stuff going on there with those two people drowning at his home uh, as part of his shooting a music video. And a young child fell in the water and then someone else dove after him and uh, they both ended up drowning. There's Roy Halladay, rest in peace, and Jimmy Rollins, who's had a really good year. Look at that flow in the back of his hair, man. I don't remember him having that long hair. Maybe this is a, a young Jimmy Rollins there. No, not really. All right, we're about to the bottom here. We'll go ahead and grab the last stack of cards, put it off to the side. My paper sack is empty. Looks like we got more of these Bowman cards. So I'll go ahead and try to breeze through these pretty quickly because I'm already at the 11-minute mark. We've got all these guys, first Broman Chrome cards of guys that did not make it. I don't even remember any of these guys being in the major leagues. Kyle Nichols, Brandon Moorhead, I kind of remember that name. Julio Pimentel, I remember him. You don't think he ever did much. Ryan Durast, or Kenny Durast, excuse me, Abel Gomez, Juan Sanricio. We got a green here, I guess because this is not a prospect card, a base card of David Murphy. He has some good years. He was part of the 2011 Texas Rangers, lost in the World Series. Elliot Johnson, he was part of the trade, the Wade Davis and James Shields trade. Elliot Johnson was a part of that as well. We got Jace Tingler. That name sounds familiar. He might be from my area. Yep. He is from close to Kansas City. You can see he's from Smithville, Missouri, which is close to Kansas City. I knew that name sounded familiar. Um... All right, continuing, and Jim Blurt. None of these guys really did too much. Jeremy Hartz, Nick Massett. Well, he might have been all right there for a while. Okay, let's get rid of all those failed prospect cards. We got an Adrian Beltre, going to be in the Hall of Fame one day. Donner's Studio, 2005, when he was still in Seattle. That's cool photography. Todd Wellemeyer. <laughs> this is a uh, Cubs pitcher. This is actually a SP Authentic. Looks like it's numbered 1968 out of 2003. I hope that's not. Yeah, I think that is a number. I'm like, wait, is that maybe the year he was born? But no. I uh, got a Grizzly Sizemore. Here's another Barry Bonds. We got a Top Stars card. Got that nice little foil. This is a pretty cool one. Um, Top Stars, 1999, it looks like. I never had this set as a kid. I was kind of out of collecting. 1999, I was in college. We got a Greg Maddox Fleer Ultra. These classic Fleer Ultra insert sets. Look at these things. Greg Maddox All Star, 1994 Fleer Ultra. That one's a really good one, too. I'll put that one right here. And then we got a Nolan Ryan. We got a Mike Lowell. Bowman rookie card of Mike Lowell with the Yankees. I'd forgotten he was with the Yankees at all. I just remember him with Miami, mostly, or the Florida Marlins. Got a Tombstone Pizza, Cy Young, uh, David Cohn. We got a Craig Biggio here from Donner's Zenith, kind of the gold version. And then we've got a regular base version here, it looks like, of K-Rod, Francisco Rodriguez. And we're going to wrap this thing up here. Hopefully we're at the 15-minute mark with some... We Oh, look at this. Old school Tom Seaver. Tom, terrific. This reminds me of those Nolan Ryan cards that they made by that. I do not recognize this guy on the right. Um, musical star Placido Domingo. Placido Domingo. Okay, I don't know a lot about him. Caught on the fly. Cal Ripken Jr. Look at this. Fleer Metal Universe. I tell you what, these Fleer Metal Universe cards still have... If I can get it right there. 1999 Fleer Metal Universe. Still have a decent value. What? Like, who would, who would put that on a baseball card? Only the people from Skybox, I guess. Look at that. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put that one right here with this other Kyle Ripken, just because that one looks pretty cool. Uh, we've got a backwards card here. Don't American All-American Girls Professional Baseball Checklist. Okay, maybe that's some of the people who played in, like, the uh, Elite Their Own League or something. Uh, we got a Cal Ripken Jr., 91 Upper Deck. We got a Cal Ripken Jr., Fleer, 96. We got a Greg Maddox. Got a random football card in here. All right, Doug Flutie. <laughs> Throwing that Hail Mary, right? Look how short he is compared to everybody else. Look how tall the linemen are. Look how it looks like a miniature guy. Got our one random football card that somehow snuck in there. Got this old school Cal Ripken. 
1993 tops. That's just a classic look. We got some Robin Younts. Got another Cal Ripken, so we're pretty heavy here on Cal Ripken. Al Kaline, rest in peace. Got a Chipper Jones, 99 Donners. Starting to pick up some of the heat here with these star players. We got a Big Mac uh, Bagwell. I got a couple of these in my binder. Look at that, 1990. This is after his first year, maybe. Um, this might even be before. They stole him in exchange for right under Larry Anderson. Finished the 1990 season one point of winning the Eastern League batting title. They definitely did. He ended up becoming a Hall of Famer. Uh, speaking of Hall of Fame, a guy who's not in there, and I don't know if he ever will, at least not for a while, it will be top stars, Barry Bonds. That's a pretty cool one. So, oh, here's another one, top stars, Barry Bonds. Looks very similar to that card up there, so I've got two of that one. Here's another Flare Ultra insert, man. Look at these things. Hitting machines. Tony Gwynn. Flare Ultra had the best inserts back in the day. This is 1995, it looks like. That's cool. Hitting machine. Tony Gwynn. He definitely was. Let's put him right there in the middle. And then we're going to wrap it up with a Nolan Ryan. we got a Randy Johnson, Strikeout King, and a Greg Maddox. That's pretty cool. Shows you their pitch grips, right? Whether it's fastballs, curveballs. Obviously, this is the same person because you can see their knuckleball. They didn't throw a knuckleball. And then a split finger fastball. Uh, maybe they just have those pictures on on all the cards because obviously Randy Johnson and Greg Maddox did not throw knuckleballs. But those are pretty cool. Another Fleer Ultra insert. This is, says, uh, I can't even read what it says up there at the top. Uh, this one is obviously 95 Fleer Ultra, and this one has says like a gold medallion edition. Not really sure what makes gold medallion edition a little bit better, but maybe it does. And then we'll finish it off with some old school Bowman here, 2013 Kimbrell, Middlebrooks. Got a random 2013 Brandon Barnes rookie card. Uh, there's another Greg Maddox and a Kenny Lofton to wrap it up there. So there you have it, guys. Went a little bit over 15 minutes. Apologize about that. If you made it all the way to the end, you got to see some pretty cool cards. Probably my favorite ones are these Fleer Ultra inserts. I really like those Fleer Ultra inserts. The Caught on the Fly Fleer Metal Universe I just think is such a wacky card. And then the hitting machines. This is just such a nice look. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm going to uh, open up that second box or second grab bag in a future video. Uh, but I'm just going to save it for now. Try to space it out a little bit. So be on the lookout for this second bag, uh, grab bag opening. This was the bag at the back of the display. And uh, here before too long, I'll open up the bag that was at the front of the display. And we'll see which one uh, had the better cars in it. So thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you all in the next video.